uh, before I ask you this question, I need to let you know how I feel about you. That way I don't feel like a fake person. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, I don't agree with everything you say, but I know that you're not afraid of disagreeing with people and, and that's okay. You know? Yeah. So not agree I think that, yeah, I think that, you know, I don't agree with everything you say, but I will let you know this. I, I'm very happy that you've introduced us to people like Jesse, Vish, so on and so forth. So you're not a, you're not a scared of your football knowledge comparing to anybody else. You know, you you can care less if if you know less than somebody or not. But I'm very thankful. I'm I'm not saying that you know the less all the time, but I'm just saying there you can't deny that Vish and Jesse have some incredible knowledge oh, on absolutely, the game. You know? man. I like going yeah, to yeah, yeah. mano a mano with the best. Absolutely. No doubt. Yeah. So I want to thank you for that. And then for another sure. thing I wanted to say is I don't hate you. And I think a lot of people hate you for the wrong reasons. Like I really do. Like I think that they should be motivated by you being such a, um, I guess some people would say it's a hustling mentality, but I, I really do like the fact that, you know, you put yourself out there and you're after the grind of, of not just, just getting your money, but being recognized and being respected regardless of your father, you know? So well, thank you. that's how thank I feel. You. Yeah. 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 So, so oh, that's how I feel you. about you. Man. Yeah. And uh, see, often it's the anyway. people that dislike you a little bit that have the nicest things to say. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Now let me have so, it. Okay. Okay. So the first really question nice. is now let me have it. That's all right. I'm ready. I can take it. Okay. 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 Right. Do you think Kyle has this much power? Not just because of the demands from the start, you know, because he was obviously coveted out there when he was looking for a job. Do you think he's given this power because Jed reflected on the relationship between Jim Harbaugh yes. and Trent Balky and he yes. realized that he messed up? That's why? It was a straight up 180 uh, turn. Oh, okay, we had a strong GM. Didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, get a strong head coach. Get him a GM that he wants to work with. Let's try the opposite. I, I'm with you. I think that's what they tried to do. This didn't okay. work. Now, yes. now, with that being said, do you think that – after, because I'm I'm a believer that I think that John and Kyle is going to be gone. That's just how I think about this. I don't have time okay. to waste, and and I just don't believe in them. But okay. if they prove me wrong, I'll be happy. Okay. Do you think that Jed would look at this regime and the previous regime and say to himself that he's learned his lesson and he knows what to do from here on out as an owner, or no? No, no, I don't think so. I think this is more where the parents have to step back and look at their son's results and say. We can't let him do this again. Uh, we need to be more on hand. And again, John York showing up to practice on Friday. I have no idea what he said to the coaches, but at the very least, the optics of it, doing it in front of the press, talking to the coaches during practice certainly showed up, Jed. Like, okay, uh, I'm here now. Uh, we let you try for 10 years. I'm here and I'm talking to the coaches. So, Jed. We don't need you for this part. It, it really just made Jed seem like the junior partner that he is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get that uh, sense too. But um, I, I have a third last question and then I'll dip. Uh, sure. Are you still a believer in the Ross Dwelly hype that you created? <laughs> yeah, I do like Ross Dwelly, man. I don't understand why they how they use him. Like he is a pass catching specialist as a tight end. He's not a good mm -hmm. blocker. I mean, he tries, but so does Jordan Matthews. I mean, he's not a good blocker and they use him as a blocker. And now they just realize that Charlie Warren is a better blocker. Like, well, yeah, absolutely. But when you throw the ball to Dwelly, good things always happen, but they're like, we can't do that. We're not allowed to throw the ball to Dwelly, which is very strange. So you know what? He probably won't be on this team next year. And I think he'll go somewhere and get some targets. So I'm not giving up on him yet. Yeah. I was wrong on Nick Mullins, <laughs> but I wasn't right about, I wasn't wrong about <laughs> Ross Dwelly yet. All right, man. All right. Well, yo, thank you, Grant. Yeah, I'm doing, man.